Good morning friends I hope everyone is doing well I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding If you really like my teaching and my efforts please press the like button share the videos with your friends subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to get the regular updates In the last video we have discussed about ICMP protocol and what is the use of ICMP protocol ICMP protocol will be used for providing the feedback and also request and reply. I have discussed where we will use the ICMP for error handling and feedback such as TTL exceeded, destination is unreachable, source quench, all these things we have discussed. In this video, I want to discuss how ICMP will be used for request and reply. What information we will get if we send a ICMP request and what information we will get as a reply and in which scenarios we will use this ICMP request and reply. All these things I will discuss in detail. So if you want to know about ICMP, please watch this video completely for better understanding. Okay. As I said earlier, ICMP can also be used for request and reply now what kind of request we can request using icmp is that echo request and reply there also we can use the icmp and even timestamp this is m timestamp request and reply there also we can use next one is network mask or subnet mask request and reply then next is router solicitation and advertisement there also we can use the icmp request and reply packets now let me discuss where we will use the echo request and reply why should we use it let's take that i have a source i have a router r1 and i have a destination okay now if source want to identify whether the router and destination are working or not am i right or not whether the destination is reachable or not before sending the packet source can generate a icmp request and it will send to the destination how it will happen we will discuss source will have the application layer let's take that source and destination using tcp ip model let's say that it has the application layer it has the transport layer it has the network layer it has the data link layer and a physical layer even router will also consists of physical layer if it having two ports two physical layers will be there and two data link layers will be there and one network layer will be there okay and similarly destination also will consists of physical layer data link layer network layer transport layer and application layer okay now at which layer the icmp will work at the network layer so source will generate a icmp request packet or echo request packet and it will be sent to the destination so obviously the packet will go via the network layer of the router r1 physical layer data link layer and network layer and it will go to the physical layer data link layer network layer now once this request comes it will not go to the transport layer and application layer of the destination because the icmp will work at the network layer so again the reply will come back to the network layer so from the source network layer to the destination network layer the message will be traversed request and reply packets so why it is useful that it will be useful whether the destination is switched on or not you want to communicate with the destination whether the destination can able to switch or not because it is going up to the network layer so if reply comes then you can understand that router can able to send the packets router is working and even the destination is switched on so that is what we will use the echo request and reply packet using this echo request and reply packet even we have a protocol called ping protocol it will give the proper information whether the destination is available what routers you are using whether they are working or not all these things you can check by using the ping protocol okay 
Now let me discuss about the next use where we will use the ICMP request and reply. If you want to know the timestamp, what is the use of timestamp? If source and destination timestamps are correct, then only we can have a synchronization. I don't know how many members have observed or not. Let's take that. Lot of people, even I have done, I have done one cheating, but I cannot say it in public because it is a recorded video. Let's take that. You have changed your time and date intentionally and you forgot to change it back again. For doing something, you changed your date and time, okay? And then it was not correctly. Let's take that today is some, let's take that August 15th. You kept the date as August 14th sometime. So obviously, you are searching for the google.com. Now what will happen? The Google server time and your time is not matching. Are you able to understand? There is no synchronization. Similarly, you are entering gmail.com. The gmail server and timing and your timing is not matching. Then the gmail will not open. Means gmail server will not send a reply. Are you able to understand? So the synchronization between the source and destination is very important. How it can be provided with the help of timestamp. So source can send a ICMP request saying that I want to know your timestamp, which time you are using, what is the standard you are using, all these things it will request and then the destination can reply. So that source and destination can go for the synchronization. So that is the use of the timestamp request and reply packet. Now let me discuss about the router solicitation and advertisement. Then I will discuss about the network mask. Now, those who know about the computer networks are using the internet regularly, they can say this, sir, sir, if you want to connect or if you want to transfer the data using internet, few things are required. One is your IP address and next you should know about your subnet mask or network mask and even you should know the default router or default gateway. Am I right or wrong? When you are entering the, these details, first you need to enter your IP address, you need to enter the subnet mask, then you need to enter the default gateway or router. Am I right? Now who will give the IP address? IP address will be provided by the DHCP server. If you are using the dynamic IP address allocation, DHCP server will provide the IP address. Now subnet mask who will provide the default router or the gateway will have the network mask or subnet mask that will provide the network mask or subnet mask the default gateway will provide you the information and even you before getting the default means subnet mask you should know who is your default gateway or default router so you should find it then if you know this information the packets whatever the sender is generating it will be sent to the default gateway and it will be sent to the corresponding server to which who you want to communicate are you able to understand so you should know your ip address subnet mask and default gateway or router ip address will be provided by dhcp subnet mask will be provided by the default router and default router also you need to identify now let me discuss about the router solicitation and advertisement. This will be useful for you to identify the default router or default gateway in your communication. Is it clear? Suppose if you have a source, okay, and you have having a router R1, okay. Now what you have to do, you have to send a ICMP request packet broadcastly. Okay, it will be sent to all the devices. Now, who is acting as your default router will send a reply, ICMP reply. It will send that this is my address to you can use me as a default router to communicate with the other networks. So, source will do the broadcast because it does not know who is the default router. So, it will send a ICMP request in a broadcast. So in the network everyone will receive. Now which router is acting as a default router that will provide the ICMP reply in a unicast way. So this one we will call it as a router solicitation. Now another one is that router himself can advertise to everyone that I am the 
default router. That is also possible. Instead of source is sending a request, router also can send a request that I am the your default router. If you want to send any information, you communicate with me. So that one we will call it as a router advertisement. So it also use the ICMP request and reply packets. The next one is the network mask request or reply. As I said earlier, your default router and gateway only have the subnet mask of the entire network. So if you want to communicate with the internet, you should know the subnet mask. So the source will send a request packet, ICMP request packet saying that please provide me the subnet mask so that I can communicate within the network and with the intra-internet also, meaning is that within the network, outside the network also. Are you able to understand? So the router will provide a reply saying that this is the subnet mask or network mask. So we can use the ICMP request and reply packets in the echo request and reply, timestamp request and reply, router solicitation and advertisement and also in the network mask request and reply. I hope you have understood where we can use the ICMP packets. One is at the feedback and also at the request and reply. I hope you have understood completely about the ICMP protocol. If you still have any doubts related to the concepts which I have discussed in this video, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will provide the solution for your doubts in less than 24 hours. If you really like my teaching and my efforts, please press the like button, share the videos with your friends, subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to get the regular updates. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.